Hello friends, I am happy to see you in the new video, fitting of binomial and Poisson distribution. Okay, before going to the video, let's go for an example, then you can understand what is happening here. Okay, now I consider 10 persons in a city. Okay, randomly I will take and I take the condition, everybody will have a car. Now, all these 10 persons are working professional. So, they work all 5 weekdays in a week. Now, my statistical data, what I am going to collect, like how many persons will use the car in how many number of days in the week. So, now, there may be persons will use the car for what? All 5 days. There are 4. 3, 2, 1. Maybe some person home is very close to his office. So, he will never use the car for his office. Okay. So, now these are all the 6 chances. Okay. So, 5 days will have 6 chances because we will have 0 to 5. Okay. Now, this is my x. The next one is called as frequency. That means, what is the frequency? This 10 people, how they are distributed with this 6 values. So now, my statistic says 2 person, 2. So, now I observe that in each possibility, some persons were there. Now, suppose if I take a different 10 persons in the same city, and now this new frequency, which need not to be same like this, I can get a different frequency. Okay. I can get a frequency like this also. And if I take another set of people, I may get what? Another set of frequencies. Okay. I can get another set of frequencies. So, the frequency or the statistics, the data, will change at according to the group but what will not change very important whenever you add the sum of the frequency it is always going to be what the same 10 so 10 is my you think it is some population capital n okay so here my sum of frequency i'll say it as capital n it will never change Okay. With this idea, now let us go into the session. What is happening here? What they are telling? You will be given a real time data with different chances and the frequencies. How many data is used? Now I want to fit this frequency. Suppose if I assume that the chances follow binomial. If my x follow binomial distribution, how my frequencies are distributed? This is what the question asked to you in the examination. And it is very interesting. In real life data, we can fit it. Now, let us go into the problem, guys. So, first we will go for binomial. Okay. I will take a problem. Fit a binomial distribution for the following data. So, whenever you see binomial, immediately we have to remember it has two parameters. One is n, the other one is p. Probability of success, number of trials. Now, many students will have a lot of confusions. What is the n? n is the number of trials and x is the chances. Just now I said, so five working days will have possibilities what 0 1 2 3 4 5 just now i see this 5 i can have the chances 0 to 5 and now listen this x is not your data for n these are all chances so whenever you see n you can simply remember like this okay i have to count number of chances that is x value okay so now my n is 6 because I have 1 to 6 plus 0. 7 data were there. 7 minus 1 is 
6. So now my n is 6. Hope you are clear because you see this x represents the chances from 0 to n. That means my n as what? 0 to n chances. So you should be very careful choosing n. Okay, now this is done. Now you know how to find n. Okay, done. Now the problem is I want to find p because if I want to apply binomial distribution, I want n and p. But the data given is what? Frequencies. The frequencies are given to us. How to find p from the frequency? Hope you remember uh, in your school days a very classical formula to find mean. Do you remember guys? It is nothing but summation f into x divided by summation f that is your x into the frequencies very good now we can find mean but whenever i say binomial distribution what i know my mean is np and the good thing right now we found n is equal to 6 so keeping this data and this when i equate i'll get what 6 into p suppose i'll take this some answer if i equate this what i will get i'll get my p so this is what my plan guys let's go into the problem okay and in some books people notate sum of frequencies capital n okay sum of frequencies capital n so either you say summation f or n that's good let's go so now a simple table will clear your problem so first column the chances second column the corresponding frequencies now at the end if you add you will get summation f now multiply this f with the x and you are going to get the data here theoretical frequency theoretical frequency is nothing but my expected frequencies okay how to find the expected frequency now using binomial i'll get the probability now this is for one data now how many data i have i have capital n right capital n is what it's nothing but sum of your frequency now if i multiply this probability with sum of my frequencies it will give the expected theoretical frequencies that's it guys okay let's do the job so now when i multiply and add i will found my mean very easily my mean is what summation fx by summation f so what can i found from here it's very simple it's going to be 192 divided by 80 guys so my mean is going to be 2.4 approximately okay my mean is going to be 2.4 guys now what i have to do we know the binomial formula what is my binomial formula my mean is going to be np so my np is equal to 2.4 i know what n what is my n my n is 6 so 6 into p is equal to 2.4 guys now let us finish the problem so it's going to be very very simple from this i found my p value is 0 0.4 once you find the p value 0 0.4 immediately i can say what q is 0.6 because p plus q is equal to 1 so now i know my p i know my q i know my n my n is 6 so everything is ready guys now i want to find the theoretical frequency that is expected frequency for this i have to prepare myself let's go Okay, I'll take a new page and I'll write. 
so probability of x is nothing but n is 6 6 c x p is 0.4 power x q is 0.6 power 6 minus x guys now i want the expected frequency right this will complete your problem i need the expected frequency so it is capital n into probability of x equal to x so capital n is what just now i said my summation f is my capital n so it is going to be 80 into 6 c x 0.4 power x 0.6 power 6 minus x okay guys now pause the video take your calculator if somebody don't know how to do the calculator tricks you just go to the description see the link go and watch calculator tricks videos if you don't know binomial distribution how this formula comes you can watch the binomial distribution part 1 and part 2 video and come back here okay now i can write the calculator code okay because it is very important if you do error in calculator the total problem is crap okay let us write 80 multiplication so i'm writing here like this 6 c x then 0 0.4 power x 0 0.6 power i said this is very very important whenever you write 6 minus x you should have to put the bracket otherwise it will give error otherwise it will take a wrong value i think now it is ready guys so just do it press equal to and before doing this follow the calculator shortcut tricks rules okay always first clear your memory fix your decimal into four digits okay let's play the game now it's time to what press the calc button let us press okay so now when you press calc button it will ask your x value okay so what is the value of x zero okay so let us put zero first okay done when you put zero it will get the answer 3.7328 then one by one guys you're going to do then press calc again put one press calc again put two three four five six done guys yes so you get the approximate values of theoretical frequencies but now the frequency cannot be what in decimal because it's given your frequency is given in numbers so let us round off guys it's very simple okay round off to the nearest value now you see this is the frequency when you follow this chances with binomial distribution you get a frequency and you can compare with what the original frequency okay the original frequency what you have you see here for 2 you can see here we have frequency 28 when it follows it will be 25 etc just we are comparing okay that's it guys now your problem gets over okay at the end of the problem what you do it's better make a three row table write your x write your frequency and write your expected frequency and present in a legible way that's it guys fitting a binomial gets over now it is obvious what you are going to do we are going to do the same process but in the poison distribution so the one and only thing is varying is your what the formula in binomial we use binomial formula here we are going to use what the formula for poison e power minus lambda lambda power x by x factorial similarly i want to find lambda i don't know what is my lambda but according to binomial 
it is going to be simply n and mean whenever i see a mean when frequencies are given immediately it is going to be summation fx by summation f so as usual process guys nothing big okay so this problem i don't want to do step by step the same thing only thing is going to vary what the formula okay let's go into the data so you write the frequencies you write the chances multiply it ah good thing now what is the mean the mean is going to be summation fx by summation f very nice it's going to be 400 by 400 it's going to be simply what 1 next we found the lambda value that is my mean right so lambda is equal to 1 because mean is equal to lambda in poisson distribution so next our job is to finish the table okay so i just recall the poisson distribution formula my lambda is 1 so e power minus 1 1 power x divided by x factorial so now my aim is to find what the expected frequencies okay the expected frequencies so it is going to be capital n into probability of x so now just now we know my summation f is 400 so it's going to be 400 into e power minus 1 divided by x factorial guys okay so you know the calculator tricks pause the video enter the correct formula in the calculator finish the problem again for your understanding i am rewriting the data which we enter into the calculator so 400 into e power minus 1 divided by x factorial then as we shall press equal to we will get the garbage value, don't worry about it. Now let us finish the problem, press calc, okay. Press calc, then it will start asking the value as usual. So now you can finish this, okay. Enter the values 0 to 5, 1 by 1 and enter the corresponding theoretical frequencies. As usual, the final step, what you do? You round off the frequency and you will finish the problem so this is what the easiest way to fit a given data for binomial or poisson distribution guys so thanks for watching the videos a kindly subscribe and click the bell button because it will give the notifications of all our next videos for the next units